Assalamu alaikum. Hey, yes. On our way to Slough. Slough no this time. Slough. I didn't know where Slough was. Uh, I, I knew it was down south somewhere. Yes, yes. Yeah. I didn't realise it was uh, nearly three hours away. Yeah, it's quite a long way down. <laughs> More than three. It would be probably three hours already. <laughs> We've still got another 20 minutes to go. Inshallah. There we go. So, yes, another one. Uh, very much looking forward to this. This will be kind of cool. Um, the, the other ones that we've done, the, the, these are the um, open iftars where yes. uh, they open the mosque to non-Muslims yep. and uh, allow them to, to uh, look around the mosque, uh, take part in an iftar, learn more about the religion of Islam, certainly more about Ramadan and what yep. it means, Alhamdulillah, and then uh, they, they've asked us to deliver a talk, uh, which we're very happy to do. Yep. And, uh, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll enjoy, the, I'm sure they'll enjoy the talk that yes. of the last couple. They say uh, we have. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll see the funny side of things, yep. um, but they'll learn a lot as well at the Inshallah. same time. Inshallah. You know, we've found that if you can make people laugh, you make people listen. And, uh, you know, alhamdulillah, uh, people have really enjoyed uh, enjoyed coming to the masjid for these, uh, these open iftars. Let's hope that's the same for Slough. Inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So we're here, we've got a bit of a do sorted out. Look at this. I have to start naming some of these flags. Alhamdulillah. Gentle folk of the lady folk. You've given him a microphone, that's it now. That's it. He's off now. He's off with his microphone. Do you know what I think we should do? I think we should invite people toward Allah with wisdom and excellent speech and argue with them in a way that is better. Not sure about the excellent speech, but we're good at the argument. Oh. You should be. I registered. Look at this. So the fair few seats inside, and then they're setting these up, presumably for iftar. Are we having an alfresco? Oh no, that's in here. No, we are. Alfresco, look at that. And what a day for it. Perfect. Alhamdulillah. Alfresco iftar. That's great, isn't it? So this will soon be full. We're expecting 450. 400 have registered, but they're expecting some more people. So, yes. We are starting the program with the Pira. Uh, I will call Abdul Malik to come here and do the Pira, then start the program. Sorry, Abdul Malik. Look at this. We prayed outside. We prayed our fresco. 
Don't you just love playing outside? I love it. Outside. We'll love playing outside. It's just beautiful out here. It's amazing. Yeah, and uh, um, but, I mean the event tonight was really fantastic. Yes. Yeah. It's so well organised. Amazing people. I've put an amazing gift uh, card together. Uh, of course, sponsored and arranged uh, via UKIM, mm -hmm. who are an incredible charity yep. that do amazing works all over the world. And in particular in this country yes, too. Yes. Like the Imam said, yeah, if, uh, the, the uh, concept of giving is a cut, helping the needy, yeah, starts in your own neighborhood. Absolutely. Humbly that. Because there are people not one mile from where we are sitting now mm -hmm. that are in dire need of even basic yeah. food supplies. Yeah. So, you know, when you're thinking about your zakat payment this year, when you're thinking about where to donate and how much and, and etc. etc., please don't forget your own community yeah. because there are people in need. And we, if we can't uh, support the needs of our brothers and sisters on our own doorstep, then how can we support the needs of brothers and sisters across the world? Oh,